Hey, 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 hey. All right, hold on, hold on. All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Jelly, also known as Jerry's World, here with another video. Uh, for this video, it's a little special video that we're doing today. Uh, I've been collecting a pretty cool creation for the past couple week or two ish, maybe a little bit more. I was honestly sending a lot of pieces, and I was getting scared that I wasn't gonna be able to, you know, get this video done because I just wanted to show y'all, you know, do another unboxing or whatever. A lot of these uh, pieces are from big bundles that I bought, or uh, what's it called? Some are from Thailand, some are overseas, whatnot. It is what it is, you know. But today we're gonna unbox. And I'm gonna show y'all all the pieces that I've been, you know, getting. Uh, I spent a little bit uh, over ten thousand dollars in these pieces, maybe a little, little, little extra, you know. I got these for a really good deal, and uh, sooner or later these will be running on my whatnot or, uh, you know, in future events. But yeah, let's just get started. All right. Well, before anything, guys, uh, I just want to let y'all know today is uh, March eighth, Friday, right? Tomorrow I have an event with the Multi Pop Market at the Grandscape, uh, the Colony. It's a fucking chair, dude. It doesn't have the first of all it's a little quick little nascar piece uh that's one another nascar cowboys since you know from dallas rangers dallas stars cowboys another cowboys so yeah this is just some slight this is kind of the typical stuff i just want to show you what i bring out to the local events if you guys ever want to pop out in the area since I am from Dallas. Yeah, I'll have like 100 plus crew necks. I'll have my team with me, you know, my, my guy, my cameraman, a couple homies who's actually here with me right now. Let me just show y'all what I've been getting. This is gonna be the craziest video probably by date. Um, let's see, let's start off with this stack right here. All right, so probably one of my best uh, purchases was this uh, 12 piece, 12 or 13 piece, maybe even more actually, I need to recount it, but uh, it's all Grateful Dead Lithuania pieces. One Lithuania basketball, bronze medal, 1992 Barcelona. Another Grateful Dead Lithuania basketball, 2004. Another one, another one, another one, another one, another one, another one of the cool ones. Another one, another one, another one. And then by far my favorite one is the white one. Which you don't really see one all the day, all the time. Well, hold on, let me do it that. Ready? And then my favorite one of all, the white one, 1992 Lithuania, got the skull dunking on there. Uh, Grateful Dead. Uh, my favorite one since you don't really see this one a lot, and I'm a big white fan. What do you mean by that? Nah, <laughs> like white teeth. Yeah. Next one, we got Waluigi Mario Kart DS promo. This one's really sick, size 2XL. You got the Have a Nice Day Authentic WrestleMania. This one's really dope. That one means a lot to me just due to the fact that uh, I've been wanting the smiley shot tee. I know a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. And I guess it's the closest I'm gonna get to for right now. You got the Street Racer promo, match five. I got this one for like $10 on whatnot. This was actually one of my fucking craziest steals. You got the PlayStation promo, one of the best PlayStation shirts, if not the best in my opinion, single stitch. You got the Perfect Dark promo tee. This has been one of my most acquired grails that I've picked up recently. 989 Studios, you get the Twisted Metal 3. This is just a really dope one. You don't really see this a lot, and when you do, you just really want to get it on the Power Pro or need a tag. You got the MC Escher Artist Tee. You don't really see these tees with like, uh, what's it called? With color in it, you know, they're always black and white. So this one's really dope. You got the White Man Can't Jump Promo Tee. This one has insane colors in my opinion. You got a Woody and Wesley right there. Single stitch also. And then I got a three piece corn bundle. Number one, two, three. Next, we got the body count. There's gunshot in the back. I cooked it, I'm sorry, I crashed out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> got the body count with the gunshot in the back. I know y'all seen this video. I know y'all seen this shirt in my previous videos because this is the third time I own this shirt and it's probably one of my favorite shirts. And talking about body count, I got the other body count tee. It's got parental advisory. Uh, European tour 1994. You got the two piece of Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre right there, special guest 50 Cent, Nelly, and I can't see the other guy, but this one's really dope. I, I love a lot of hip hop tees. I collect a lot of those. I usually don't like to sell them, but maybe in the future, one dollar. You got the lady, Victoria, with the titties out, you know what I'm saying? You got the two tatas. Got the Wanda with the beautiful colors on the Fruit of the Loom size large. I've been trying to get the Wanda's mosquito head, but I uh, settled with this. For, the, for now, for now. You got the Sex Pistols on the Brockham, size large, yeah, I believe, with the nice back kit. I love picking up a lot of Sex Pistols because I like uh, Sid Vicious a lot. 
got the Smiths popsicle. You don't really see this one in the in this colorway with the baby blue and the orange, which is a really dope colorway. Got the 1991 Morrissey. Got the 1995 silver chair. Got the pig face in the front. I don't know the name of this shirt again, but still a good shirt. Then I was able to acquire a two piece of Nervous Record tees. Boom, that's one, two. Perfect sizing, perfect boxy tees. Very soft, one of my favorites. Got the Ice Cube, the Predator. I had this shirt before, but it was too small, so I sold it, and then I'll probably keep this one in the personal. Got the Acid House smiley face right there. Alice in Chain Rooster. Funny thing about this shirt is that I just had this shirt and I was saving it for the video, but then some guy came in and bought it, and then I was able to acquire it from another homeboy. So at the end of the day, I was able to get it for y'all. And same story with the Foo Fighters. Those two shirts I sold it to the same guy and I was able to still get them twice in the same bundle, which is very ironic. Got the Jesus Lizard. And then probably a top three from this video, the Snoop Dogg. I've never seen it in this colorway. I really want the, the regular one everybody sees. The, the black shirt with the blue shirt, beanie, whatever. But yeah, this one, this one's really dope. I'm not selling this one anytime soon. Got the Nine Inch Nails, Nothing 2000 Tour. Got another Nine Inch Nail. Now I'm Nothing with a really nice puff print. One you don't really see a lot is the Nirvana Seahorse, which is a really dope one. If y'all don't know, seahorses, the male is the one that gives birth. So yeah, I'm giving y'all a science lesson right now. Got the STP Stone Temple Pilots 1994. I have this one in, in, uh, in blue. I think I'm gonna show it to right now in a bit. I gotta look for it, cause I got a stack, but. Got the 1994 Lollapalooza. I know that y'all seen that I ran this recently, but I got another one. I call this one the hand, cause you got the hand in the back. All right, a little, little break. I just wanted to talk about, uh, if you guys haven't noticed already, I run a lot of stuff on Whatnot. If you guys don't know what Whatnot is, it is a live streaming platform where you can sell shoes, vintage, bags, whatever the fuck you really want. Uh, mainly what I speci specialize in is uh, vintage clothing. And what I do a lot is I run everything at a dollar. Uh, sometimes I'll do bundles in there, mystery bundles, but I like to run everything at a dollar. I only like to do claims. But if you haven't already, go follow me on Whatnot. It is Jelly's World, J-E-L-L-Y-S-W-O-R-R. No, re redo it. Redo the whole fucking thing. <laughs> redo the whole fuck. <laughs> but me, personally, I specialize in vintage clothing, and what I do is I sell a lot of stuff for a dollar, and then I, sometimes I'll do mystery bundles in there, but everything is mainly a dollar. And if you're not already, go follow me on whatnot, Jelly's World, right there. We're on the road to 1,000 followers, and also bookmark every show that I have. This upcoming show is on March 12th. Uh, hopefully the video's out by then. If it's not, it's cool. I'll put another one, uh, another... What's it called? Show for y'all to bookmark. And also, a Faded Show. Follow Faded Show because I am coming on Faded Show March 18, 318. I'll be there at 8 p.m. Uh, Central and I'll be running a bunch of bangers. Some of these stuff I will be running on Faded Show. So if you're not already, go follow me on Whatnot. Bookmark my show on Faded Show. And yeah, let's keep rolling. All right, you got this really obscure skating tee. Uh, skating is not a crime. This is a pretty boxy on the Onita tag. I really like this one because you don't see this shit a lot. It's like a collab with some guy, I forgot what it was, but I got this from Kelly, really good shirt. You guys know who he is, Kelly Cole. You got the shower ranks, extra naked. Uh, I think this is, oh yeah, this is the front. This one's really cool. I like the colors on this. You don't really see this one a lot. You got the Ozzy Osbourne, but this whole glows in the dark with the last little back hit in the bottom. This one's really cool. Crucified. Uh, I'm gonna let that go for a dollar because not a big fan of that shit. As I was saying, I got the Stone Temple Pilots Tour 1994 and the teal beige color. Not beige, fucking teal. What the hell am I talking about? You got this uh, like BDSM, pajama party, Hinduism, Jamaica. You got the guy right there naked and the girl with the, the rope, but a spanker. Him, spank him. Got the nice Jesus tee with the quote at the bottom. You got the 1994 World Tour, Far Beyond Driven. This is my favorite Pantera tee and the only Pantera tee I like, to be honest. It's like a weird RT. You got the woman right there and then the, like the rainfall in the back, nature, whatever the fuck is going on in there. Uh, this was really cool, no back hit. You got a blonde redhead. I'm not sure what this is, but it was pretty cool, so I picked it up. You got another acid house with the pa pink bandana. You got the Metallica puss head. Smashing Pumpkins, 1996, Infinite Sadness. It says, hooray for Hollywood. You got Hole. Uh, what else you got? Filter, Bush, White Zombie. Really cool one. I guess it's like a, like a festival, like Lollapalooza type shit, but it's really cool. Uh, also single stitch. It's really soft. One of the softest shirts I own. You got the skeleton gun tee. I don't know what this is. Kind of reminded me like a fashion victim. If anything, oh, it's a, it's a fashion victim. It just doesn't have the tag. It's got the photo loom tag, which I think is better. Top three tag in my opinion. 
You got the syndicate with like the Raiders uh, background, which is a really cool one. You don't really see shit like this often. You got the two guns crossing his head with the back kit. You got the Slipknot, 437, whatever number, blah, 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 in the back. Fuck, I'm not reading all those numbers. You got another Sex Pistols, like I said, one of my favorites to pick up. So now we're gonna get a little bit into like collectible stuff that I've been collecting of the same shit. And then like some of my favorite pieces personally. But uh, while we're going, uh, I had just stopped in for a little One Not Live uh, for Rode and Gav. Uh, I be on One Not a lot, all day, pretty much all I fucking do. Uh, but yeah. First of all, let's talk about the free OJ. Right there, one. Don't squeeze the juice. Another OJ, you will always be my hero. OJ's free, not guilty. And then personally, my favorite, save the juice, fatal attraction, front and back kit. All right, I got a two piece Sonic Youth paper doll. Uh, no back kit, but it's on the Anita tag, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, size large, not one, but I got two of them. This one's also size large, but I say this is a little bit bigger on the Fruit of the Loom Heavy, both single stitch. Both really nice. One of my favorite Sonic UTs. I got my, another, I got the double up of the Snoop Dogg, slanging hip hop. Back kit is what it is, size large. And not one, but two on the Anvil tag, slanging hip hop. The colors are different at the bottom. As you can see, it's blue at the bottom, the other one was yellow. And then Snoop Dogg also, I got the Stone Snoop Dogg. You got the Kraken on there, which I'm a big fan of. On the AAA tag. I got another one that looks just like this, but it says stoned on the way in red. And as you guys know, I, oh, I had to sit down, I had to go pick up the shit. As you guys know, I'm one of the biggest fan of Dennis Rodman. That is my favorite NBA player growing up and to this day. So I collect a lot of his shirts. This is just a small part that I've been collecting uh, since the last video. You guys haven't seen a single one of these. These are all new. These are not re repetitive. Like I just recently got these. But yes, I do have quadruples, triples, and doubles, all that shit of the same shirt. And here's the first one. This one's fucking clapped fade. Beautiful one. You got the sunglasses on there with his uh, piercings. On the need, uh, oh, actually, Marina, size large. You got the chairman of the boards, I believe. Yeah, chairman of the boards, Dennis Rodman, size XL. I would say a top three Rodman tee is the NWO, the black one. Single stitch, I believe, yep. Um, what tag? What today's trends tag? Size XL. You got this uh, champion tag, which is pretty weird on the right there. Champion 90s Rodman, different color, haired, world tour, MTV. Really dope one. This is a really dope Rodman shirt. And then I would say the best Rodman is this one, the electric Rodman. Electric Rodman. Electric Rodman, yes. Size large on the marina. I have two more of those. Uh, but I'm not gonna show them because what's it called? You guys already seen them. You got the intense Rodman getting a rebound right there in his natural habitat, size large. You got the fingers, not of this world Rodman, super nice fade with the pink hair. Another NWO, I know that's crazy. NWO, this one's better in my opinion because it's softer. Rodman 91 right there, mullet. Another really cool Rodman with the yellow hair. I had this one before. And I sold it, and um, I've seen there's a white one of this, a white tee, which I actually don't have, which is actually pretty crazy. So if you guys have it, this same one in white, let me know. You got another one of the sunglasses with the signature in the back, size large. You got the devil and the angel, Dennis Rodman with the nice back kit. And the last one for today's videos, you got the Nike big face Rodman, Nike side in the front, pink one. I have the green one, but I don't have the orange one. So if you have the orange one, the large, or XL, please hit me up. We got the Mike Tyson, Tyson's back. Uh, really dope one. You don't really see this one a lot. This one's uh, 2000 on the dot. All right, now to my favorite collectible shirts or stylish shirts to pick up. Uh, I got a couple of these that I picked up recently that I'm gonna show y'all is rap tees. So you got the Tupac rap tee, me against the world. This was really nice, really nice fade, you could tell. Just by the different of color of the shirt from the collar, that's how you know it's a nice fade. I'll be back, Mike Tyson, Rap T. Got the Usher from the Super Bowl special. You know what I'm talking about. Usher, Rap T. You got the NBA world champion, Chicago Bulls, Rap T. You got the Bob Marley, but not only Bob Marley, you got Ziggy on there too, Rap T. Got another Tupac, I ain't mad at ya, Rap T. California love. You got the MLK, Rap T which is probably my favorite 
MLK wrap tee there is because I know there's a couple of different variants. You got the lightning one. The Selena wrap tee, which is clapped in the back, which is really cool in my opinion. I love the colors in this one. I love the older wrap tees with the yellow and uh, blue. And then this is going to be insane. This is a really cool uh, collectibles. Uh, you got the another Bulls wrap tee, but this is the best wrap tee there is. It's this one specific in my opinion. This is the best Bulls wrap tee. You got another Bulls with the... Uh, Michael Jordan with the trophy in the back. You got all the players in the front. Really dope. Really clapped. One of the best color ones. You got the another Bulls wrap tee. Onto five. 1997. Then in my opinion, one of the coolest wrap tees. The Dream Team, which I would have never expected to see this. This one's really dope. This was uh, back the best Olympic team there is. Penny Hardaway, Scottie Pippen, Karl Malone, Gary Payton, John Stockton, Hakeem Olajuwon, Shaq. Reggie Miller and Grant Hill, just to name a couple. And then my favorite rap tee that I've, you know, per, uh, recently acquired is the Busta Rhymes. Uh, I got this on the Faded Show. I paid a little penny for this, but you know, I appreciate the love. A lot of people pay, pitched in some money for me because uh, I offered the guy lower and he didn't want to take it. So the chat, they pitched, um, you know, they started throwing in tips and they helped me acquire it for the price that I wanted to pay. And actually, I found one more I forgot. This is the last wrap tee that I have for today's video. It's the Will Smith wrap tee. You got the men in black right there, the bubbles. This is really dope. I got this from the Vultures Den, if you guys know him. Uh, this one's probably one of the coolest ones. I don't really see this a lot. All right, next piece, we're gonna move on from the collective, like the, all right, next piece, we're gonna move on from the same style of tees. We got the Charlotte Hornets shattered backboard. No back kit. It's my third time owning this and still one of the coolest shirts. You got one of my favorite shirts that I've been trying to acquire is the Cram Stay Sick European Tour in 1990. This was really dope. I've seen this one go in value up a lot recently, but uh, it, per it fits me pretty boxy, which is what I like, and uh, fits me pretty good, so I'm probably going to keep this, or, you know, I'll run it in, in the future for a dollar. You got the Hillary Duff. This was kind of like a rap tee style, but it's a tour. It's a tour, 2004. I don't know what to call this shirt, but this I have two of these, and I'll show you all that I have two of these. But you got Puff Daddy, you got Busta Rhymes, you got Drew Hill. Uh, this is just like a summer jam type tee, but it's not a summer jam. It's a world tour in 1998, and then it's got like a bunch of covers on it all over. This is one of these sicker shirts that I own, in my opinion. Tupac, Me Against the World. This is definitely gonna be a personal for a good minute. Uh, it fits me a little long, so I might chop it. Um, but yeah, who gives a fuck, cause it's gonna be mine. This is by far the best Luther Vandross shirt there is out there. This shit is fucking cool. Power of Love Tour. Look at the colors on that. 1991. You just don't see it like this, man. You don't really see them like this. You got another personal, the Metallica Sandman. 1991 and two. Off to Never Ever Land. Um, this one's really dope. This one's really faded. I got this from a really good homie, uh, Mike. So I was really happy to get this. This is by far the softest shirt I fucking own. You got the Guevara Big Face. This one's really fucking dope. The colors on this and the fading is really nice. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I have no idea what this is, but you can just see the girl kind of getting stabbed with the words right there, and you got the back hand in the back. Uh, yeah, really cool. Got another Aussie, the glow in the dark one. I told y'all I had another one. So here it is. This is a different tag on the Haynes tag. I got a little two piece obscure for y'all. You got the Picasso T right there. I don't know if y'all can see. You got Picasso right there sitting down, laying down with a female. And uh, he's eating her pussy. So you got the alien with like the world on there. You got the like the space and shit. Uh, it's pretty cool. You don't really see stuff like this a lot. The coloring is different. I'm pretty. I don't know the the neck is a different shade from the shirt, but in my opinion, I like it. All right, for the next pieces, I got a two piece uh, Grateful Dead just uh, roaming around. It almost gives me like MC Escher, but I forgot what the fuck this was called. Uh, dancing around something like that, but it's on the liquid blue tag size XL. Another Grateful Dead, the dead head, you get the head right there, uh, what is this, 25 Grateful Dead, it says in the back, uh, it's got a quote in there, I can't really read it, but it's pretty cool because it's got like a graphic, uh, not graphic, uh, a graph, there you go, a graph, uh, with numbers on there, like numerical, got the Bob Marley mosquito head, super soft, super clean, uh, I've been collecting a lot of mosquito heads, but I, will, I haven't been able to purchase a lot recently because uh, people just don't want to sell them cheap. Got the sweet chastity female right there, uh, showing off, you know, her her good little parts. But yeah, then I got a two-piece Vampirella. Here's one, and there goes two. And to keep it going, you got a cherry pop tart tea. Uh, no idea what it is, but you know, you got the beautiful one right there, beautiful cartoon, 
and uh, it says loves you it's dated right there at the bottom pretty cool weird one you got a killer buds you got the weed blunts uh, with guns right there fashion victim the only reason I know this is because I've watched the show snowfall I don't know if you guys watched it it's uh, you got the Black Panther uh, they were like a what's it called protesting group back in like the 70s 60s uh, maybe a little bit before this was um the only reason I know is because like, the main actor in the show uh, snowfall Franklin his dad was a Black Panther pr protester so this is a pretty cool shirt you got the corn untouchables pop sucks 2002 Got this Johnny M Mnemonic? Mnemonic. I can't fucking say it right. Don't butch me for saying it wrong. Really good, beautiful woman tea. No ifs and or buts. Right there, baby. This is a double up. You got Madonna. Naked right there. Portrait. Size 2XL. You got a top three Grateful Dead. The LL Rain. Probably one of my favorite Grateful Deads, in my opinion. One of my favorite shirts from today's video is the... Soundgarden, super unknown. I've been trying to get this forever. A uh, good homie of mine, uh, Jacob, as y'all know him, Jacob Starr, Thrift Row. Uh, he bought it for me and I paid him in, in the live because my fucking card wasn't working. Uh, I don't know, I guess I bought too much in that live. You got the Boy George US Tour 1991. This was a really crazy one. Absolutely queer, uh, not one you see every day. You got the really, really cool, the Glass Spider Tour, David Bowie. Uh, really nice colors. I did not know it would be this small, but I mean, it is what it is. One of my favorite bands to collect them just because of their coloring blocks, man. The Cure, the Prayer Tour. This one's so cool. It almost looks kind of fucked, man. Like, like just painted all over. Like, they didn't even care about the shirt, but that's kind of what I like. I like the colors. You can see the flower right there. One of the best fades I've ever seen in a shirt is the Steve Austin Stone Cold 316. Like, this is supposed to be a black shirt, but y'all see how brown it is, and it's so beautifully cooked. You still got the nice baby blue on there, and it's still a beautiful, beautiful shirt. You got the Cranberries, one of the bands that I listened to growing up because of uh, family members. This one's really cool. It's pretty faded out. I don't know. I just really like this shirt. It's kind of hard to collect Cranberries now. People just want to ask a lot. A little bit more on the obscure side for you guys. You got the Violent Fams, but this is not one you see on an everyday basis. Why do birds sing? You got the, you know, the female covering his eyes right there. No idea what's the meaning behind it, but it's a really cool one. I like the coloring. I like the pink or just around it, like the box. A really funny one. Well, back then, maybe not, but it says super acoustic, like a uh, obscure painting. I don't know. It's, it's got to do like with talking and hearing generation. Oh, no. Power acoustic, not super. You know, I, just, <laughs> I was just fucking with it in my head. You got the Hello Kitty heart shape box. Uh, this one's fucking crazy. This is a pretty rare one. I know it just seems like, oh, it's just Hello Kitty's, but it is on the changes tag and it goes for decent money. Talking about fades also, Beavis and Butthead, super clap fade. It's supposed to be a black shirt, but you can see it's literally gray now. You got this RT, the crayons, every color human. This one's really cool. Got another cranberries, like I said, one of my favorite to pick up. Got the Deftones, White Pony. This is a personal right here. You got the Morrissey, which I got another one to back it up. Smith's Popsicle, but in the gray and purple color block, one of my favorites. I know y'all seen this in the previous video, the NWA, uh, straight out of Compton. Uh, this one's a uh, Better condition in my opinion, and uh, the last one I sold, so I had to pick it up again. You got the Ice Cube, The Predator, another one. This is a personal also. I fuck with Ice Cube a lot. You got the MC Hammer with the beautiful color blocks on there with the nice Hanes tag. This is probably the best Hanes tag there is. I don't care what anybody says. You got Daffy Duck smoking right there. Cam, what does it say? Cam Trinker. I don't know. He's just smoking it up. Really cool shirt. You got the Planet of the Apes, Promo T. You got the Nokia Connection People phone. One of my favorite shows, Jackass, Knoxville. If you guys have any Steve-O tees, please sell them to me because I've been collecting those. You got Oscar De La Hoya, Boxing Tee. You got a quick little uh, box logo, uh, Birdhouse. You got the Nine Inch Nails with the really cool front hit, embroidery, just so y'all see. One of my favorite shirts for today is the PSG Soccer Player Tee, Jorka F. I didn't want to butch his name, but this one's really dope. You don't really see these a lot, and these are very uh, good collectible for me since I played soccer and football growing up. You got the Michelangelo, you know, artistic tee. You got the humans right there going all over. You got the Soundgarden with the pistol in the back. Really dope one. I got this from a good homie of mine. I got the best cowboy shirt you will ever fucking see. You got the Cowboys, uh, Salem comic. You got the fire going around there, Troy Aikman. Um, this really cool shirt. You don't really see this one a lot. 
Uh, I just bet you, I bet, find me another, find me another. You got the planets, almost like an Andy Warhol, but you know, you got all the planets in a really cool color block. You got the Sonic Youth washing machine. I really want the one with the dates in the back, but uh, I'm, you know, stick with this one. It's gonna be a personal. You got the Men in Black, uh, you are human, right there. Super cooked, super nice shirt. You don't really see this one a lot. You got two humans conducting in uh, marijuana right there. Uh, don't do drugs, kids. Uh, I don't smoke myself. I don't put myself in that. You got the Lollapalooza Festival 1991. One of my favorite Lollapaloozas. You got the Grand Hill Pistons Player T. This was one of my favorite ones. This will not be for sale in a good, good, good time. You got the Nine Inch Nails Closer to God. Uh, Halo 9. This one's really dope. I love the colors on this one. One of the coolest Rodmans just because it's like a it's a caricature, but it's like a comic also. Uh, you got him dunking the ball, big ass fucking arms right there. And for all the marbles, and to end the video, uh, you got the super unknown sound garden. Uh, you got the back here right there, like space uh, on the Brockham size L. Uh, one of my favorite shirts that I've acquired. And um, that is all the damage for today. Um, that was, I don't know how many my, my cameraman will put. Uh, how many shirts there are. That was a plethora of fucking shirts. All right, well, that's it for the video today. There's a plethora of shirts. Like I said, I spent uh, 10,000, a little bit more maybe. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys think it was worth it or not. If I was stupid for spending a lot of money on old clothes. And yeah, guys, that'll be it for today's video. Like I said, if you guys are already not following me, follow me on OneNot and Instagram and on YouTube. Subscribe, turn notifications on because I'm dropping videos like this all year. So yeah, follow me, subscribe, so you can see me running all of these for a dollar, and then I will run some of these on Faded Show, March 18. So please go bookmark that show, and bookmark any shows that I have on WhatNot. I appreciate you guys for watching and showing love. I couldn't do this without you guys. So yeah, take care, and that's it.